the role that Microsoft IT plays in the development of, of these products or any of, of our products is just like what any other customer would do. We've got certain wants, but we've got more access to the product group. So we actually set shared goals with them. Um, if they get certain uh, pieces of functionality in by certain milestones or achieve certain uh, quality bars, then we'll roll that out to a, a big segment of our production environment. And as long as they keep hitting the shared goals, we keep rolling it out to a broader segment until we achieve the goals that we want. I think the feedback that Microsoft IT was able to provide helped the quality because we were able to roll it out to a real live production environment rather than a pristine lab environment. And we were able to find some issues that just are harder to find in, in a lab setting. We found a scalability issue with a print server that, that we didn't find in our performance tests in the lab. We were able to find configuration issues with the domain mode as we converted our primary domains to Windows Server 2008 um, that just wasn't easy to replicate in the lab environment. In total, about 500 bugs were found and fixed because of the testing that we did. With our internal deployment of Windows Server 2008, a couple of things that I found that I wasn't expecting to be big positives. Um, one was the performance improvements that we saw, um, both in Active Directory replication as well as the just copying files in the SMB protocol improvements. Um, also saw a huge amount of simplification just in the ability to do remote installs or, or leverage uh, PowerShell for scripting just to make management of the environment a lot easier. The thing that I liked a lot was the stability that we saw compared to the previous version of, of SQL Server. As we hit each milestone, the, the level of, of the quality that we were seeing was just significantly higher. Um, but, but probably my favorite feature was uh, our ability to virtualize SQL Server. Um, there's a governor on individual SQL servers so that we can put multiple databases on the same server without impacting each other now. With our deployment of Visual Studio 2008, uh, one of the things that we've loved is the, just the consolidation, simplification of the environment rather than having uh, multiple places where we've got uh, code repositories. And our, I'm sure our engineering teams can talk a lot about the uh, productivity improvements they've seen, but with my information security hat on, the feature that I love the most is a plug-in that, that, that we've used so that when a developer checks code into uh, the Visual, Visual Studio team server, it'll automatically tell them if there's um, cross-eyed scripting or other vulnerabilities available in their code that they need to fix right away. Every time we complete a deployment of one of our products internally, we take time to document the lessons that we've learned to make them available to our customers, and we do that on IT Showcase on Microsoft.com.